Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, it's your best buddy in the whole world, Sam, and um, <laughs> and uh, this is another Maximus P tutorial. And um, Cassie, this is, I have my sister Cassie here, and she's laughing at my um, <laughs> at my Max tutorial persona. <laughs> okay, we can start over. No, no, I think it's good. We can keep this. We can keep rolling. So, um, sorry it's been such a long time since I made a delightful tutorial, but um, <laughs> but I got really sick, and then I had to travel home and contend with my mom and her six cats. Um, so that took some time. But now, uh, now it's time for some Max. So Christmas is over, and all that's left is Max. So let's do it. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a. I think it's called a boomerang effect. I remember a while ago I had my friend had this guitar pedal and the way it works is you push down the pedal to start recording and then um, you record over it when you record again rather than erasing it. So you can kind of make these cool loops just by making sort of one sound layer at a time. So it's awesome and here's how you do it. Uh, first thing you need to do is make an audio buffer. Are you paying attention, Cassie? Yes, I'm paying attention. Good, you should be. You make an audio <laughs> buffer <laughs> to store your sound, and we'll make ours uh, four seconds long, or 4,000 milliseconds if you're European. And I'm going to make a message box here that says clear, so that we can clear out the contents of our buffer um, if we don't like it. Uh, make a gain tilde so we can adjust our volume, and an easy DAC to get sound out, just, you know, simple, simple stuff, whatever, no big deal. Um, <clears throat> so, so the... The way this works is the two objects that do all the heavy lifting are count tilde and play tilde. Um, so count tilde, when we make this recording, we're going to use the poke tilde object to write into our buffer. And we can't use a phaser object to get the... Okay, let me show you poke. Here's what poke tilde looks like. Um, poke at its left inlet takes the sound you want in, and its middle inlet takes the index into the buffer to write it to. You can't use phaser for that index because then you'll get weird discontinuities in your audio. So you use count tilde, um, and count takes a, anything other than stop to start it. Um, and in your right inlet here, you set the modulo, which is to say when you want it to loop back to one. Um, so first, let's be able to start and stop it. For that, we're going to make a uh, toggle here and use a cell object to detect when that toggle is... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's detect when that toggle is not... <laughs> uh, okay, so coming out of this will be a bang when this is zero. Um, so when there's a zero, we want to send the message stop to our count. And when there's anything other than zero, that's fine. We just let that go straight through. This is a hyper-advanced use of cell for space brain geniuses like me. You can't um, use like a like a gate or something? What do you mean a gate? Do they have like AND gates, OR gates? What are you talking about, AND gates, OR gates? Or like an inverter. What does this look like, a computer to you? <laughs> <laughs> an inverter? Cassie, no, this is for, this is no, this is for space brains. Just keep your gates to yourself. Um, like a multiplexer or something like shut, that? Shut, shut, shut up. Uh, we're going to use the DSP state object. What we want, count is in, works in terms of samples rather than milliseconds, so we need in here, we want four, millis, uh, four seconds worth of samples, and out of this outlet of DSP state comes the sampling rate. So if we multiply that by four, then what goes into count should be four millis uh, rather four seconds, 4,000 milliseconds worth of samples. So that's done. So that's awesome. Um, and we are awesome too, by, as a side effect. So um, count, when we turn this on, it's going to count continuously up from zero to four, millis four seconds worth of samples. And we'll use that both to index and to play tilde. Uh, we have to use an ms to samps, uh, no, other way around, samps to ms samps to milliseconds object to convert from milliseconds, no, from samples to milliseconds to index into play. Um, but we're also going to use that output of count to go straight into poke tilde, and now we're writing to the, we're writing to this loop buffer as we're reading from it. It's kind of amazing. Um, so send the output of play to the sound here. Um, let's make a uh, waveform tilde object so we can look at our loop set loop so that it displays the contents of our buffer. Wow, there's nothing in there because we haven't put anything in there yet. Use an easy ADC to record sound in. Is this, are you getting all this? Yeah. Okay. We use an easy ADC to get sound in. And if we send that straight into our play, we'll get sound in. So let's see what that looks like. Uh, no, into poke. Blah, la 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 la. Ah, oh my god. La 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 la. Ah! 
Oh my god. So <laughs> So we're basically musicians, but there's some other stuff. So what we'd like to do now would uh okay, we're good. What we'd like to do now is make it so that we only record rather than recording continuously, we just record when uh, we push down space bar. So to do that, we use the key What's your password? Uh, 2643. Now the world knows. <laughs> key <laughs> and key up, which is to say the two people who watch this video. <laughs> Uh, no. So key and key up send a number out of their left in outlet here when you push that key and space happens to be 32. So we'll use cell 32 to detect when um, we push down space bar. And this is for when the key goes down, so we'll associate a 1 with that and a 0 with this when the key goes up. Um, make a line tilde object. And this message $1.40 means um, Whatever it gets in its left inlet, it's going to assign that to this one here. Is it dollar one dollar sign? I think it's, it's dollar, sign, dollar one. sign one. Yeah. How do you know that? How could you possibly know that? Because it's like a like assembly. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so much smarter than I am. All right. Anyway, so now we're just going to take the sound coming in and multiply it by the output of this line, and that way the audio will be multiplied by one when the space bar is down and multiplied by zero when the space bar is up. So we'll only uh, have sound coming in when space bar is down. So now if I'm not holding space bar and nothing's happening, and now I am holding space yeah. bar and we're being musicians. I like that fire engine noise you made. Those being musicians. <laughs> am holding space bar. <laughs> That's good. That's awesome. I want that sound. All right. So last thing you want to do, if you're like me, you have absolutely no rhythm whatsoever, and so it's helpful to have a little ticking sound, uh, kind of like a metronome, so that we don't uh, lose our play. Cassie has great natural rhythm, but I don't um, <laughs> at all. So to do that, we're going to use the modulo. Okay, what are we going to do? I don't know why I keep referring to we, like we're a family, because we're not. We're um, related. Well, you and I are, but not me and <laughs> the world of YouTube, or the two people. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use the snapshot tilde object. Snapshot tilde, as you know, um, looks at the uh, signal coming into it and takes a snapshot of that uh, signal every, in this case, 10 milliseconds. We're going to take that number modulo 1000 so that um, whether it's one second, two seconds, three seconds, it doesn't care. It just, you know, is, is how far into that second are we. Uh, we check if that number is less than 25. Um, and then use a tog edge object. Tog edge is an awesome object. Um, in this case, what it's going to do is when this number goes from being greater than a th 25 to less than 25, we'll get a bang out of this outlet. So that's the same thing as saying whenever the second loops back around to the beginning, we get a bang. Um, and then we're just going to use a click tilde object, which just plays a click when it gets a bang, and make another gain so we can turn on and off our click track. And now we should be able to hear a clicking that com comes every millisecond or every second. And we're good. Yeah. Let's, let's make some sounds. So I brought Cassie here uh, mostly because she's uh, in acapella and therefore hopefully able to make <laughs> <laughs> pleasing oral uh, sounds as opposed to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, let's do this. So, you start. Okay, I'll start. I'm just going to lay down a little uh, drum. I'll just get some... Oh, shit. All right. I mean, shoot. All right. Here we go. Oh, we don't hear any sound because this is enough. Oh, my God. No rhythm. All right. One more try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. It's pretty bad. All right, go ahead. Ow! Uh, ow! Ow! Uh, ow! 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 All right, I'm going to put in a little bass line. That's actually kind of awesome. I'm going to turn off the quick track. Because it just emphasizes how off my rhythm is. You're awesome, by the way. All right, here we go.
Bono no ba dom 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 ba the humans are dead. The humans are Alright, so you get the idea. It's cool, I have 15 minutes because I'm awesome. Um, there you go, it's the boomerang effects pedal. It's totally awesome. It took all of two minutes. Um, Cassie, thank you, you were very helpful. You're welcome. You brought a, you brought a level of decorum and... Um, decorum? Yes, a level of grace and sophistication to, this, to these proceedings, and for that I thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. All right, just